As it is National Cheese Fondue Day, we simply had to call our friends at the Melting Pot on the Plaza, and they were kind enough to come over to show us how to make a cheese fondue. And Becky Jones is server and trainer at the Melting Pot. And Becky, welcome. So where do we start with the cheese fondue milieu? <laughs> well, today we're going to make our zesty cheddar cheese Yum. fondue, which is actually a recipe from our cookbook. Okay. So it's not something you actually find in our restaurant, but if you want to try it at home, it's an awesome recipe. We begin with a beer base, preferably a lighter beer. You just pour a little bit of beer uh -huh. in there. We have four teaspoons of horseradish, oh, so it's going to be zesty. That's gonna, yeah, that's going to give it some zing. You have two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and four teaspoons of dried mustard powder. Hmm. There's a lot more that goes into fondue than I would have guessed. Oh, yeah. Then we have our uh, cheddar cheese fondue. Okay. It's a sharp Wisconsin cheddar with a little bit of Swiss to cut the sharpness. Now, is this one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites. I'm a huge fan of horseradish. Yes, I would agree. I, and I, you asked me that too. You were like, do you like horseradish? Because yeah. I put a lot in it. Uh -huh. I was like, yes, I do. And you'll love this cheese. Now, quick question. Now, can somebody enjoy fo cheese fondue if they're, like, say, on a gluten free diet? Yes, you can. Um, our recipe in the cookbook says to use flour. You can use cornstarch, which is a great alternative. And then instead of dipping regular bread, there's gluten free breads out there, fruits and vegetables. And we actually have gluten free tortilla chips. Nice. You want, at our you want some butt. help stirring? I can stir. If you want to. I got to. this. I got this. My lovely assistant. I got, your I got your back. So, what are the origins of fondue? Like, where did fondue start? Fondue is traditionally a, a Swiss tradition. And the word fondue in French literally means to melt. To, to melt. To All right. Melt. Mm -hmm. And it actually got popular in the United States when soldiers were coming back in the 1950s from World War II. And it gained a lot of popularity in the 50s and 60s for mm. fondue parties at home. Yes, fondue parties. Yeah. Very kitschy and retro and fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, you know, what I want to know, what are some fondue traditions? I hear that there are fondue traditions. There are. As the story goes, if a woman drops her piece of bread into the cheese, then she has to go and kiss every guy at the table. Now, if the man drops his piece of bread in the cheese, <laughs> he has to buy a bottle of wine for the table. And if the second person does it twice, they have to host the next party. All right. I, I, things, <laughs> things you need to know. And mm -hmm. Things you need to know, yes. Okay, so, what, oh, is that bacon? bacon? Things are better with bacon. Better. All right. So and pepper. How, how, what's, the trick to, what's the trick to getting the right consistency of your fondue? The consistency is all about the ratio of either the flour or the cornstarch in the cheese. It'll keep it from separating. Because this is really thickening up fast. Yeah. I mean, really fast. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Yeah, if you don't have enough in there, then it's going to sort of separate, so you want to make sure that you have the right proportions. Okay, sounds good. Okay. That cheese looks perfect. It's going to top does. it off with some scallions. Good let's, work. Let's do it. All right. We're hiring My very if first you come over. Yes, I say we bring <laughs> Michelle in to sample. Yes. Oh, that top does it look off good. With some scallions. Oh, yummy. It looks great. Yeah. Now, what temperature do you have the pots at? Um, we just do it on the high setting. High setting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, dear. Yeah, Thank you. Fondue forks, dip away. I'm going to go I'm going to go for apple. French honey wheat and rosemary bread over here. Nice. We're Cauliflower, carrots. Uh, Becky was broccoli. nice enough to bring in the recipe for the cheddar cheese fondue and it's going to be on our Ooh, website. The I recipe. lost it. I've got to kiss everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's on CaseyLive. What was that? Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. And of All course, right. wine with cheese. Oh, cheers. Here oh, go, girl. goodness. Thank okay. you. Best day ever. Happy <laughs> National Fo Cheese Ooh, Fondue Day. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Okay, I'm going in. Go in. It's a little spicy. On your shake. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, coming up tomorrow, we'll be making What's some up? sweets in the kitchen with an area bakery, and they're sharing their double chocolate walnut cookie recipe with you. Plus, we're going to recap all the red carpet action from tonight's Hollywood premiere. Mm. 41 Action News Midday up next. Mm -hmm. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Bye, everybody.